Hello, my name is Grant Fritchie. I am the Scary DBA. I work for Redgate Software. I have got a SQL prompt tip for you. Now, here's the deal. I need to go in here and I need to uh, do some query tuning. So I've got a store procedure I'm going to work on. Oh, and by the way, I'm on Azure, so I'm getting all this stuff down off the cloud. So I've got this movie info uh, store procedure I want to do some query tuning on. So I'm going to do a modify on the query. And that will bring up T-SQL. Oh, God, who wrote this? All right, well, so whoever wrote this used um, square brackets on everything. And I don't know about you, but it makes it really hard for me to read. Now, if we have a situation where we've got a need for brackets, of course you want to leave them in there. But otherwise, I really don't like them. So I'm just going to go to SQL Prompt, and I'm going to remove the square brackets. And so now this is much more readable, and I can work with this and start to start to use it. Now here's an interesting bit, though. Now let's say you're one of those crazy people who actually likes square brackets, who wants them in their code. If I go into my options, and I go into my special characters, and I tell it, I would like to have everything closed within square brackets. I can click OK. And now from this point forward, when I'm typing inside of Management Studio, SQL Prompt will put in brackets for me. But further, if I reformat, it then immediately puts in all the square brackets on all the appropriate spots for me automatically, really fast. So you can go in either direction, brackets on or brackets off. I'm going to go and change my options here in a minute and get rid of these brackets. But uh, thanks for watching. My name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software. I